Hi. I first met Miss Minnie in 1989. I worked at Opryland, the theme park, and part of my job every day, four shows a day, was to emulate Minnie Pearl. It was a, um, a really sacred part of the show, not just for me, but for everyone in the cast. We all knew that that was, uh, that Miss Minnie was the, the heart and soul of certainly Opryland and definitely the Grand Ole Opry. I had the fortune to um, to be around Miss Minnie quite often through my years at Opryland, and that's where I would say we became friends. One of the greatest memories that I have of Miss Minnie is not only was she supportive and there and encouraging the very first time I was on the Grand Ole Opry, sept September 16, 1989, but who's keeping track? Um, she was wonderful to me and encouraging to me. Um, but she had, I came to understand that Miss Minnie's communication was not just with her audience, it was with everyone who knew her. Um, in fact, there was a time when she and I were backstage having a discussion, and I, I, I think she knew that she touched everyone very deeply, and people really cherished the moments they had with her. And it was, I was a, a maybe, maybe it was 1990, and I was still very young, hadn't gotten my record deal yet, but she and I were having a discussion, and, and Henry came to let her know that, that their, their ride was there and it was time to leave. And without even saying a word to him or looking at him, she reached out and touched his forearm, forearm as if to say, give me a couple more, more minutes with this girl. And Henry acknowledged and, and went and sat down and waited for her. And it was a glimpse in, into her own awareness of of the character of Minnie Pearl, but as the woman, Sarah Cannon. Uh, years later, after I'd been around her a lot, and really I mimicked a lot of things that I do in my life and in my career after not just Minnie Pearl, the character, but Sarah Cannon, because she was uh, so classy and so thoughtful and such a, um, a great role model for any woman who wanted to make it in the industry. It was widely known that I was um, a fan and that, that I understood Miss Minnie the character. So as the Grand Ole Opry was, um, the Ryman Auditorium rather, was uh, preparing to fashion a bronze sculpture to put in the Ryman Auditorium, which now does sit in the uh, lobby there at the Ryman, um, they said, well, call, call Shelley to come sit for uh, the photos that would be taken after which the statue would be fashioned. So I took my mini hat and my mini dress, which I still have to this day. And I went and sat for the hundreds, if not a thousand, Polaroid photos that, that they were taking to kind of, so, so the sculptor would get an idea of, um, of how to make the statue. And at one point, the sculptor asked me uh, to sit in a way that I knew Sarah Cannon would sit, but Miss Minnie, the character, would not sit. And, uh, and there was also someone sitting as... Um, as Roy Acuff. And so at one point I said, may I speak up? I said, you know, Sarah Cannon would sit with her legs crossed, but Minnie Pearl would be sitting this way with her, kind of her legs cockeyed, and she'd be given, given Roy what for, and she would, you know, as if to say, oh, Roy. And they said, oh, that's great, that's great. And so they, they took the photos of that. Um, perhaps a year and a half later, after the statue was completed, I was with Minnie. Uh, in her, um, you know, where she where she was recovering from a, a medical issue, and we were visiting, uh, and she put her hand on mine and she said, "I want to thank you." She said Henry went to uh, to see the statue, and he took pictures, and she said, "You got it right, you got it right." She said, "I heard what you did, you got it right," and of course I started to cry. I became very emotional uh, because I was so proud that that I had gotten it right. Um, she is one of the most extraordinary uh, characters in, uh, of Americana that we will ever have known. Um, Minnie Pearl uh, meant so much to so many people, and she did to me. And uh, Sarah Cannon, the woman who um, encouraged me and told me to leave my mark everywhere I went. And, uh, you know, she told us all, love them and they'll love you back. And uh, I carry that with me every time I do a show. And um, I try to model myself after what would Minnie do. It was a great honor to know Miss Minnie. It was an even greater honor to know Sarah King.